western half of india is radically growing faster more prosperous everything is growing than the eastern half of india this is even true of states that are large states you know western parts of up western parts of madhya pradesh are more prosperous than the eastern parts but this is very big these differences are really big when you look at the national level so the single biggest source of this problem is the following you see rapid economic growth is ultimately an urban activity every part of india that has grown rapidly has basically it's an urban thing in the north it's delhi ncr very broadly defined you take western india it's bombay pune uh, surat ahmedabad that is the zone that's generating the growth in the south it's the triangle of hyderabad bangalore and uh, chennai eastern india the real failure is that of kolkata the failure of kolkata yes. infects all, all of, of the east eastern, of india east of india and really forget state wide thinking about this in state think of these as cities if you want eastern half of the country to really get going in the end kolkata is a disproportionately large city in eastern india it has to pull its weight yes. if you want eastern india to grow kolkata has to grow at 15% year on year um, growth rate for 20 years that is what will suck in you know get bhubaneswar going get patna going ranchi going that is going to be the real driver of growth you know, what what pulls, pulls pulls that back what pulls it back well obviously we know what the problem is what is for that? a long time well people talk about the, pro, the 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 political issue of it but this actually goes back some distance when i was born in 1970 let me tell you kolkata was not just the intellectual capital of india cultural capital of india it was also the financial capital of india it was the industrial capital of india in fact if you went a little bit back to the time of independence 1947 Kolkata had the largest cluster of industry in Asia outside of Japan and Japan's industrial capacity was in shambles. Mm. So from that to becoming essentially irrelevant even inside India is really the story. Mm. And the story for this well we can it's 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 a combination of various things but one of them is a major intellectual failure. It is Kolkata's elite at some point in time decided that to go backwards and the price that eastern india has paid for this has been very big in terms of you know after all bangalore is now very proud of the digital economy and all of that all of this used to be in kolkata yes and ibm i remember this clearly ibm was actually hounded out of kolkata in the early 90 early 80s and it ended up in being in bangalore